it is a new day in Mar del Plata, Argentina, and I woke up a couple of hours ago. I took a shower because my hair's still wet and got ready to go out. I had a really good time with Mariela yesterday night um, and her boyfriend and some of her friends. We had a few drinks, we ate some burgers for dinner and went to a couple of different places out in the city, which was awesome. I find it really strange going out uh, to hang out with young people on the other side of the world. We, uh, Dan and I did that while we were in Poland and now I've done it here in Argentina and I don't know, it's like a really strange thing to experience but I love it and if you ever have the chance to do it, I think you should because it's really nice to hear the way that other people unwind after a week of work and to hear what their traditions are and what they learned to do growing up. Today we are going to go and experience a traditional uh, Saturday as an Argentinian. We're going to go over to my dad's best friend's house to have a asado and we're basically just going to be there all day eating again. I'm going <laughs> to come back having gained so much weight from <laughs> Argentina. Uh. It's too much food and it's too delicious and I can't say no. I like have to try a little bit of everything over here. Something else I wanted to mention was that yesterday we were talking about the paradox of when you live somewhere and you don't go out and explore the city that you live in. And Pedro and his wife Sandra were saying that they were tourists with us yesterday as they were taking us around showing us all the different suburbs that we went to in uh, all the sites. And I've noticed that a lot of people who live in a country normally say that they don't explore and it sort of inspires me that when I go back to Sydney I want to go out and, and see it like a tourist because I never do that at home either. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll bring you guys along today so you can see my day and I'll see you all really, really soon. This is how I dry my hair naturally. Yeah, it looks crazy. But if I flip it, then this underside bit dries, and then I do the other side. And for the first time, I am wearing a dress in Argentina. Ooh. I mean, I always wear dresses at home, so it's been really weird wearing uh, <laughs> jeans every day, but that's, I don't know, everyone told me to dress the way everyone else dresses so I don't stand out like while I was walking on the streets and stuff, so I wore jeans. Um, but today we're going to someone's house so I can wear a dress. When you go over someone's house for food, you have to go get ice cream. Is this a hash cook? Now we are going to go to uh, small woods factories. Salami, cheeses, absolutely beautiful stuff. <laughs> Very traditional from Argentina. Yeah? You slice it very thinly before the asado. It's like a entree. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. can already smell the asado walking up to the house. Yeah. Yes. Hola. Come 
After the asada today, it was delicious and I definitely ate way too much for my own good. I'm definitely eating way too much here in Argentina in general, but I think that's just because the food is so good. I like, I can't get over it. But right now we're just sitting down having some wine with Nestor, uh, Marisa and my dad. And they just ran off to get a hamburger that we're all going to share. Apparently it's like a really good gourmet, like homemade type of burger so I'm excited to try that because burgers are pretty much like my favorite food <laughs> to be honest. My dad's feeling a little bit sick now. Hopefully I didn't make him sick but he did say that he did say that when he was walking down the street yesterday that it was super windy and he wasn't wearing a jacket and he's like I knew this is gonna make me sick as it was happening so I feel really bad for him, but I'm sure he'll get through it just like I did and it'll all be fine <laughs> in a few days. I wanted to talk about something called sobremesa, which is a Spanish term that does not exist in English at all. And it's something that I, like, I've heard about, but I didn't realize was used as a verb here. And it's just something that happens every time. And sobremesa is pretty much when you sit down and eat a meal with friends and family or friends or family and when you finish eating you sit down and you just spend hours and hours and hours sitting down talking about everything and that's what sobremesa is called and there have basically been some days that like we'll come home at the end of the day and i'll talk to dan and he'll be like oh what did you do today and i'll be like well we woke up and we went and saw my grandma and then we met up with these people for lunch and then we pretty much sat and like talked the entire day until it was time for dinner where we went and met up with some other people, sat down, ate and then talked and talked until it was pretty much time to go to sleep. <laughs> and today has been one of those days where we woke up kind of late because we all went out last night on Friday. So we woke up kind of late, then we went to my dad's friend's house for the asado and then we had sobre mesa for a few hours until the evening and we got home just as it got nighttime. Um, and they dropped us off to my grandma's house and we spent some time with her. She actually gave me this necklace, which is so beautiful. It's called the Tree of Life and she wanted to give it to me to have, um, which is really sweet of her. I don't know if I have enough of this vlog today to put together a whole video because we really only just ate and did sobre mesa. We will see. But just in case, I want to say goodnight and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!